Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sean's Shave Den. I'm Sean. Um, today's sh uh, Sunday shave is going to be with Razor Rocks. The uh, the soap is going to be Razor Rocks Mutter Fokker. Okay. Um, gets its name. I, I'm sorry if you're offended by it, but uh, if uh, it gets its name from uh, Mutter over here, it's a very soft soap very soft Italian style soap. Um, it gets its name from, it uses Fuller's Earth in uh, the formula, which is a type of mud that comes from, or, or soil that comes from the geothermal hot springs over in Italy. Um, it supposedly has very good medicinal purposes for your skin. Um, so that's where how it got the mutter part. Uh, Fokker is, from what he's saying, what they're saying on their website is that was his reaction when he used this soap for the first time. So I've never used this soap before, my first time. I just got it yesterday in the mail. Um, I was going to do another Razor Rock soap uh, today. I was going to do the, uh, um, the uh, Santa Maria del Fiore, but uh, I figure being as I just got this, uh, that's what I'm going to use. The scent on it, it's a very, very light, musky, um, Italian-style cologne scent. It's very nice, very light, um, very good for use on every day, possibly uh, for work or casually. Um, like I said, it's a soft soap, so it's considered almost like a crope. You could stick your finger in there. Um, so that's going to be the soap for today. Uh, another special thing that I'm going to be using today, um, my very first DE razor. Now this was, this was handed down to me from my grandfather and it's a Huffwitz of New York, uh, travel open comb razor. I'm not really sure how old it is. Um, I know it's at least as old as him. <laughs> well, as, as old as he, uh, started shaving with, um, but uh, this this is this was his razor, so this is going to be kind of a dedication to him in a way. Uh, this was my first razor. Um, it's open comb, which if you look over here, it's very very pronounced open comb. Uh, blade is pretty exposed. Um, also, uh, the blade gap there really isn't a blade gap with these older razors, uh, so. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes a difference. I know a lot of people like to put like a stint in it, which means like they take it and then they cut off the blade part of an old razor blade and they'll put it underneath it and they'll double it up. Um, so you get a little bit more of a gap through it, but I've never done that. Um, the brush that I'm gonna be, the aftershave that I'm gonna use, it's uh, another razor rock. It's Tuscany, um, Tuscan Oud. And it's very similar in scent to the Mother Fokker. Um, so that's why I'm using it. I don't have the matching aftershave for that soap. Um, the brush that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be, because I got about three days worth of growth. So I had it soak in my Samoog uh, boar brush. So I like to use boar brush on a, a little bit of uh, hair growth that I have. This is a tallow-based formula. So for the vegans out there, it's probably not good for you. Um, but, uh, they raise a rock. You want to talk about a pound for pound, buck for buck soap, Razor Rock is one of them. You could buy them for very cheap and it's a very good quality soap. And they got tons of different scents. They got vegan formulas. They got tallow based formulas. Very good. I've never had an issue with any of the Razor Rock soaps. So let me get this lathered up. I'm using the timeless, uh, lather bowl. Let me get this lathered up and I'll be right back. Okay, back. And uh, as you can see, it's all lathered up. Uh, no issues whatsoever with lathering uh, any any Razor Rock products. So it's lathered up, ready to for put it on the face. My face is uh, properly hydrated. I just took a shower and um, let's get started. wet the face a little bit. Now 
never had any problems with slickness or cushion on any of the Razor Rock soaps that I have. As I said, they're very cheap soaps. They got tons of different scents for your scent uh, palette. And uh, I don't believe a time. Uh, I don't believe Razor Rock makes these soaps. They they go out to uh, artisans throughout Italy to make these soaps um, for them, and then they brand them with their name. But they're awesome soaps. Every single one of them. Very affordable too. I just like the the scrub a boar brush has, especially with a few days worth of growth. Really gets a nice exfoliation feel going on. So being a towel-based soap, it's actually not as thirsty as I thought it was gonna be. Um, this is one of our newer formulas. But still going very well. I think that's good enough for the lather on my face here. Very good soap, very cushiony usually. Um, like I said, this is my first time using this soap and I believe this formula they have. So we'll learn together. So got the Hoffwitz of New York, um, uh, the open comb razor, the travel razor. See, uh, it's travel because it has a little teeny handle and this handle actually comes apart. It's like four piece and it's hollow. It's a hollow handle. So it's a little lighter. Dip it in water and we'll get started. I haven't used this razor in a while, so it'll be good to get used to it. Get the angle right. Oh, I forgot to say the, the blade that I'm using is the Gillette Super Thin, a fresh one, the Tide Blade. And being as the blade gap isn't that isn't that big in this, it's actually not a very aggressive razor being open comb and all. Actually quite comfortable. The thing that you gotta watch with the open combs, for me at least, is if you don't get the angle right, um, you tend to dig the teeth into your skin, and that's where I think most of the people get the irritation. Um, with the open combs. I don't think it's an actual razor or what whatnot or that is aggressive. I think it's just they had the angle wrong and the teeth kind of dug into their skin a little bit. But, but that side, perfect. So.
and the soap's doing its doing its job. It's very slick. A lot of people may not like a razor like this because it's actually quite light. And I know a lot of people don't like light razors, but I really don't mind. Um, I could use whatever, really. Finding the angle isn't too bad, isn't too hard on these. Um, so to, in order to find an angle angle on a razor, you put it up the top cap on it, and then you slowly tilt it until you feel the blade catch, and that's usually the right angle that you want to shave with. And then you just want to keep that angle throughout your entire shave, which is easier said than done. But as you learn the wet shave with the DE razor, it'll actually come more natural to you and you'll find you'll do it without even looking or without even thinking about it. Generally about a 30 degree angle that you want. Very light. No pressure. So with this razor, it cuts, it actually cuts kind of close. Um, so a lot of the slickness goes once you do your first pass. So you don't want to continue to do passes like I'm doing, but this soap is actually staying on here in this part. It looks like I'm doing multiple passes in that same spot, but it, it's not like I, I'm, my, my face is curved. So I'm kind of like going overlapping strokes down. And this blade is working very well. This is my first time using this this blade in here. Um, very well in here. Very comfortable. And it's cutting. Remember, you'll get the rest of the hair with the second and third passes. You don't need to get all your hair off your face in the first pass. It's about hair reduction. And this is a very thin top, so it's very easy to get underneath your nose. Fix the camera. All right, let me lather up for the next pass. Still plenty of lather on there. The smell on this soap is just very nice, cologne relaxing scent.
All right. So I can pass. Cross the grain. This is probably the part where it's a more difficult to find the angle for the razor um, when you do something like this, um, with this type of razor at least. But this this razor's probably close to 80 or 90 years old, probably even older than that. And it's still a great shave. Very nice, second pass. You could tell, like, when I first started using this razor, I just started DE shaving, and I would cut myself quite often with it, and I wouldn't get a very comfortable shave, but So I put that on the razor itself, really, and um, really it wasn't that it wasn't fair to the razor because it was really just my technique. So I ended up getting other razors, and I ended up learning a better technique as the time went past and now doing it right now shaving with this razor it's really no different than any other of the new razors it's a little bit uh you got to think about the angle a little bit more on it but it's really really not that much different difficult much more difficult than using another razor so here, um, the lather is starting to dissipate a little bit, and I think it's also because of a combination of the brush that I use. I'm not really used to using bore or natural hair brushes very often anymore, so sometimes, uh, so I'm gonna go back to the puck a little bit and get a little bit more. There we go. Make sure it's caked together for this third pass. Some of that pro pro lather. Okay. 
I'm gonna do a real quick face lather with it for the third pass. So my first assessment of the razor wasn't really fair to the razor itself. Yeah. Never be afraid to go back to the brush or back, back to the puck to get a better lather going. Sometimes, especially when using new soaps, I use a different soap every day. So, um, Sometimes it's hard to find that ratio of water to brush to soap ratio to get a great lather going. Um, but this is going to do well. See how it's still thick a little bit? Dip the tips in the water. Paint, paint the water in. I'm going to finish the lather on my face. There we go, slathering up good. So that's good for my third pass right here. Lather doesn't need to be very thick for the next la next part of the shave for the third pass. It's um really just the slickness that counts for that. You're really just doing a cleanup here. Get the angle. Very nice. The face feel on this soap is actually very nice too. It's uh, my face feels very moisturized and supple. The skin. Tell you what, the combination of this blade and this razor, I started out with this razor using feather blades. So that's probably also what kept on eating my face up because I wasn't used to using feather blades and, or my technique wasn't good and feather blades bit me. But uh, this combination of the blade and the razor and the soap, almost like the Holy Grail.
I got to go to my uh, girlfriend's mom's uh, birthday today. So we're going to have some uh, Puerto Rican pork or lechon. It's basically a whole roast pig, which they're not doing the whole whole pig but um, today. But um, the skin is super crispy. It's like a potato chip. That's how crispy it is. And it's probably one of my favorite meals here in Puerto Rico. So I'm looking forward to eating some lechon. And having a good time. Good, good on that side. This is where you can really get yourself in trouble shaving around your Adam's apple and trying to get those little scraggler hairs and then you tend to overshave on your Adam's apple. But I think I got everything. Skin, the chin area is very close, very close shave for this uh, chin. Okay, and that's it. Nice drama-free shave. No cuts, no bruises, no nicks. My skin's feeling per I, like I, I am pretty impressed with this uh, this soap. To be honest with you, my skin is feeling very nice and supple. No loss of moisture at all um, throughout the shave, and it's very slick, very cushiony. Even though the lather seemed to be, seemed like it was dissipating a little bit throughout, I think that was more user error. I, I, I'm going to try it with a synthetic brush next time, see if it does the same thing. But um, very, very slick soap. Very easy to use and feels very good. So let me get washed off and I'll be back for the post shave. Okay, back for the post shave. And I, I have to say, I think I had... The same reaction with the soap as the uh, as the guy from Razor Rock, uh, the the people from Razor Rock had uh, Mother Fokker. Oh my God, uh, sorry, uh, but it was a very good shave. Um, the face feel on it is it feels like I didn't even shave at all, to be honest with you. Um, very very nice soap. Um, so for the for the post shave, I'm going to use another Razor Rock product. I'm going to use Tuscan Ode. And it's similar scent profile, um, so I'm going to shake it up. Let me dry the face a little bit. Very close, very nice shave. Right. Yeah. 
no sting whatsoever. No drama, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Just a wonderful shave. Great smelling aftershave. Just the right amount of menthol in it to give your skin a little bit of a refreshing feel. Um, not that I really needed a post shave, and not that I really needed a post shave after this uh, this wonderful shave. So um, that's it. That's my shave, guys. Um, thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, much love out to you guys. Um, if you like the video, please like, please subscribe uh, to my channel, Sean's Shave Then, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.